was going to die anyway. Why does the me invest so so much in itself and it's going to die anyway? Well, it doesn't think it's going to die. It, its investment in itself is about survival. The, the, the energy it puts into it, its own glorification, or whatever you like, is, is only about survival. It doesn't believe it's ever going to die. It doesn't want to die. So it hates this message. You'll try and find anything to avoid what's been suggested. And it doesn't know what death is anyway. Because it lives in the finite continuum. So actually in the end, the seeker, the me seeker, doesn't even know what it's seeking. It has no idea. It's got a, I mean, when Tony Parson goes around it, Tony Parsons had a very definite idea about what enlightenment was about. It was certainly about being totally adored by all women. <laughs> <laughs> and some men, that was sort of on the side, really. <laughs> and being glorified and having lots of fast cars. <laughs> and money. The teacher has an idea of what they think enlightenment is like, but it's a sort of personal enlightenment that they think they would like. But no idea what, what is really looking for. If they knew what was long for, they, they'd run as fast as they could, which is what they do anyway. What isn't? What isn't illusory? Well, well, in a sense, I think for me, for me, the only illusion there really is is the illusion of me that it thinks it's real. Okay. Everything else is. You can't say the wall is illusory in a way because it is and it isn't in, mm -hmm. in a way it's real and unreal in that sense. But, but for practical purposes, you don't try to go through it. No. no. <laughs> 